In this session, you're going to discuss about a uh, water jet problem and how to use a BFS, DFS in water jet problem. Okay, so we have studied what is BFS, DFS, water jet problem separately. Now, I'm going to construct a, a search tree for a water jet problem like a limited set. And with that, I'm going to uh, show you how a BFS works and how a DFS works into it, like an application oriented task. Okay, so what is a water jet problem? In a water jet problem, we'll be having a 5 liter jet and a 3 liter jet. And our goal is somewhere we have to have a 2. Okay, so somewhere either in this 5 liter jet, you have this 2 liter water, 2 liters of water. Or in this 3 liter jet, we have to have this 2 liters of water exactly measured. So the jets that we have taken doesn't have any marking into it. Okay, so that is the criteria that you're going to fix over here. Now we are going to explore this problem like initial state when I'm starting the process, I'm going to construct a search tree for it. Uh, so when I'm searching for, when I'm doing a search tree, my initial state might be either sometimes some of the one will appear like we can take this phi comma three as the initial state or sometimes we can proceed on taking this uh, zero zero. Uh, both the checks are empty. This I can consider as my starting state. And each step, what all the process we have, when we want to fill a jack or in the water jack problem as a whole, there are three possible operations. Either we can fill the water or we can pour the water out or we can call it as an empty condition, empty the jack or swap the water. Okay. And each time at each step of this uh, water jack, like uh, creating a search tree, we have to analyze all these three possible operations. And it is then for either 5 liter jet or 3 liter jet. Either 5 liter jet or 3 liter jet. When you want to swap the water, 5 to 3 or 3 to 5 need to be considered. So as a whole, when you look into it, we'll be having six operations to be discussed each and every step. Okay, and sometimes we don't have any possible operations to be performed. For example, in the initial state, I need to have 0, 0. Both the jets are empty. So in this place, I don't have this empty condition. I cannot empty the water since it is already empty. And I cannot swap the water too since it is already uh, empty in both the jugs. So only possible operations of my first step is fill the jugs. So either I can fill it as 5 comma 0, fill the 5 liter jug once or fill the 3 liter jug once. Okay, so this is how we are going to construct a search tree. Each time, uh, explore all possible operations and find a possible move. Okay. So next time what happened, now I have two branches and out of these two branches, I start from the first branch. Uh, now my first five liter jug is filled. Okay, so search tree is one where it is going to give all possible moves at that time. Okay, so now I have this five liter completely filled. Now when I want to fill the jug, okay, I'm going to call each and every operation. When I want to fill this five liter jug, it is already filled. So I cannot fill it again. So one possible moves, I can fill three liter jug. Okay, so this is the first step and empty. When I want to empty 3 liter jug is already empty. I can just empty this 5 liter jug and swap. When I want to swap the water, what happened? 5 liter jug is already filled and the, you have zero in this 3 liter jug. I can pour the water from 5 liter jug to 3 liter jug. So this will be completely filled and the remaining water will stay over here. You have to come on 3. Okay, and I can explore this path also when I am exploring this path. Now the three liter jug is completely filled. And when I call the operation for filling, I can fill only five liter jug. So five comma three. And when I want to uh, empty condition, already five liter jug is empty. I can empty this three liter jug. And when I want to swap the water, I can pour the water from three liter jug to five liter jug and this remains zero. Okay, so each step we are going to find the possible moves each and every time and this is called a search tree. Okay, and when you are defining your goal state, you have to define all possible goal state. So I want to have two liters of water in any one jug. I can have two here and three here or two here, one here and two here, zero here. Okay, so I want to have two liters of water in five liter jug. And this 3 liter, I, I don't care. It might be either a 3 or 2 or 0. Okay, so this is the place when I have this are all your goal state. Okay, this actual goal state is something that we derive from 
well like you when you want to have 2 liters of water in 5 liter jet these are all the possibility and the same when you want to have it here uh, sorry uh, have it here for this 3 liter jet what all the possible moves of gold street will be having a uh, 0 comma 2 or 1 comma 2 2 comma 2 3 comma 2 4 comma 2 or 5 comma 2 Okay, so these are all the possible goal states. So whenever one single goal state is formed, you're going to stop the process. So a search tree is something you may have a initial state, one single initial state, and the graph will have a multiple possible goal state. So whenever one single goal state is formed, you're going to stop the process. Okay, and this varies according to problem to problem. Whatever problem that you have take, it will be having a specific uh, outcome for it. Okay, so let us proceed for one more possible possible moves of a tree. Now again, I have five comma three. I cannot fill out the water since it is five is completely filled, three is completely filled, and I cannot swap the water too since it is already filled. So only possible move after this place is to empty condition. I can either empty this five liter jug or I can empty this three liter jug. Okay, only two possible move from this place. And zero zero is a place where both the jugs are empty, so I cannot empty it. I cannot swap the water. I can just fill it, fill the water. When I am filling the water, I have a possibility of filling the jug as first filling this five comma uh, five comma zero five liter jug or filling this three liter jug, one step at a time. Okay. And again, when I want to explore this path, so here I can fill the jug. So five liter jug, I can fill it completely, or empty condition i can empty 2 liter jug i'll be having 0 comma 3 or i can empty this 3 liter jug 2 comma 0 and swap the water this is completely full. like i can swap the water from uh, 3 to 5 but i cannot pour the water this 2 liter again back to this 2 liter jug the reason is it is completely filled okay so only possible move is 5 comma 0 Okay, so like this, we are going to expand each and every step, and it is not that like in the initial state, I just have two operations possible operations to do, and at this place, I have three possible operation to do, and at this place, I have four possible operations to do. So based on the current scenario, the number of possible correct move can be differs accordingly, and this goes ahead. So when I want to take a search tree for a water jug, there is no stopping criteria. So it goes on each and every step. Okay. So now we'll just start with the algorithms. First, we'll stay, uh, start with breadth first search. When I'm taking breadth first search, I'm going to search each and every level. So when I want to search this search tree with the breadth first search, I can have it as zero zero constraint first. Okay, initial root node is explored, and I'm going to explore all the branches level wise. So next, I'll be exploring five comma zero, zero comma three, and then. The second level is explored, and I'm going to do it here: five comma three, zero comma zero, and two comma three. So this is one of the gold state. I have two liters of water in this five liter jet. The best first search will stop and exit, and uh, give return this as the solution, one possible solution. Okay, so this is how your DFS works. So it is going to take the tree, completely search the tree level by level. and it whenever a solution is formed a goal state is formed it, go, it is going to stop the process and say that this is the final goal state okay and i'll just explain your but there is no relationship like when i when you just like uh, look into the nodes that are explored you don't have any direct relationship it is not like in uh, path cost we cannot say that like initially we have 0 0 and then we are going to fill this five liter jug and three liter jug there is no relationship between this okay it is not in sequential steps that Results in this BFS. Now consider your depth first search for it. As the name indicates, depth first actually works like exploring the depth each and every step. Okay. So now first initially zero comma zero will be explored, and the next depth level of five comma zero will be explored, and then five comma three will be explored, and then you have zero comma three, and it keeps on going. so it will explore a single a uh, path as a whole till the end until it find a solution but in case of dfs if this is the sequence of step that we are going to follow listen carefully first i have 
this fill condition. Next, I have empty condition. And finally, I have swap condition. So next step, what happened? I'll be calling this fill function. So when I call fill function, this file is free. So I'll be filling this file at a JRG time. And next time, uh, when this repeats, I cannot call this fill function since both are completely filled. I have to call this empty condition when I am emptying the jug, what happened? So I'll start emptying from this. So you will have 0, 3. Okay, we just explore the first step alone. We don't check for all possible operations. So the problem here is you have the repetition. See here, you have 5, 3 repeated, 0, 3 repeated. And this calls recursively each and every step. Okay, and uh, water jug problem is something like it. you don't have any stopping criteria for the branches. Okay, the branches will grow in infinite when it is searched in depth. So that is why we call it as this depth of search as a not complete algorithm. It is not complete. Okay, we are not going to completely search a tree. And for these kind of examples, when you have a, for uh, water jet problems and all, it is risky to take this depth for search. And you can define the remaining possibilities. Uh, rather than having this fill and out empty condition first, if you are defining the swap conditions over here in the initial step, you may have a possibility of getting into a solution. Okay, so when you just swap these places, okay, so this 2 comma 3, if you are able to define it to the first step, so I'll just give you an example. Okay, so based on this, um, we'll initially start with the 0 comma 0. And next time, I'm going to call the swap operation first and then fill and empty condition. But here I cannot swap the water since it is empty. I cannot empty the condition also. So only possibility is filling the jug. When I am filling the jug, I can just fill this 5 comma 0 or 0 comma 3. Either 5 liter jug or 3 liter jug, I can fill it up. Okay, now I'm going to call the swap operation first. So each time rather than calling this fill, empty and swap, I can call it in the reverse order. Since this is my programming, I'm going to define it. I can have any possible moves. Okay, when I call this swap move, what happened? This 5 liter jug water will be poured to 3 liter jug and the remaining 2 liter will stay here. And then I can call this fill operation. So when I'm calling this fill operation, this 3 is empty. That will be filled. When I call this empty operation, 5 is completely filled. That will be emptied. So in this case, when I am exploring a depth for search, initially it will be having 0, 0. And then you have 5, comma 0. And then you have 2, comma 3. So this is one of the goal state. Okay, so here in this place, the goal state is born. Just by swapping the operations that we have performed, when you are able to um, find a possible moves ahead, we can define your depth for search. But still, I can say that this depth for search is risky when you are implementing that into a search tree that grows in time. Okay, that is infinite and we keep on swapping the water, pouring the water out. Okay, it is given that you have uh, plenty of water available. So we keep on doing this and we never get into a solution at all. Okay, and the steps that you take in this depth for search is sequential. It is like a path. Initially, you have 0, 0. Next time, I'm going to fill the water, 5 liter jug and I'm going to pour, up, I am going to pour the water of 5 liter jug into 3 liter jug. Now it is done. Okay, so all the steps that you have it in this depth for search is a path place. Okay, so when it is a pathwise constraint, you will have a, a sequential steps arranged. This is your path. Initially, you have this and then you have the step and then you have the step and then you have the step. Initially, I have 0, 0. Next time, I'm filling this 5 liter jet. Next time, I'm filling this 3 liter jet. I'm pouring the water out of this. So there is a relationship between this uh, path or the nodes that are explored in this depth for search. Okay. So I think you could have got an uh, uh, got an uh, what is it idea about what is this breadth for search depth for search and how it is related to this artificial intelligence subject and uh, how and water jet problem can be represented in the search tree and how you are going to use this BFS DFS for searching this tree. Okay, thank you.